Hello friends, uh, my name is Adam Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic Sprint Bear Burn Down Chart. Friend, today's topic uh, is very interesting and uh, we have taken this topic from uh, Scrum Body of Knowledge or the Scrum uh, Framework uh, Sprint Burn Down Chart. Friend, uh, if you are studying project management or you are planning to give exam related to project management in university or you are planning to give exam of a Scrum or Agile so friend this topic is very important and you will see this topic in the exam of sprint sprint band on chart so your concept related to the topic should be very clear because this is a very important topic and you will definitely see in the exam this topic in the ex exam secondly friend if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a uh, project manager or a scrum master uh, so again this topic is important to understand and uh, to how to use the concept of a sprint burn down chart is very important so friend let's start first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start sprint burn down chart first of all uh, friend try to understand that what is uh, how this topic came from what is the background of this topic a sprint burn down chart friend first of all try to understand that script sprint burn down chart is a topic from the scrum framework okay uh, this is a topic from scrum first of all we have to understand what is a scrum friend a scrum is based on agile methodology which says that we can uh, do the things using the adaptation and the flexible approach what does this mean friend basically see friend uh, like for example you are implementing an e-commerce solution and there are uh, 40 tasks which you have to deliver so by if we use the framework of waterfall model what we do we uh, plan develop test and deliver the things so this is the approach of uh, agile uh, this is the approach of waterfall model now in scrum framework what we do we divide the task in the sprints a sprint is a what is a sprint it is a three to four weeks time period now in the sprint what we do like each sprint will contain 10 tasks like if there are 40 tasks so a sprint will, one will contain the four, uh, 10 tasks we do the plan develop test and deliver it to the customer then sprint 2 will contain the next 10 tasks so, uh, again we will do the plan develop test and deliver it to the customer sprint 3 again the next 10 tasks and then the sprint 4 contain the next 10 tasks so in that way Till we reach uh, of uh, sprint 4 we will complete all the tasks which will contain in the uh, which will contain uh, all the required 40 tasks so in that way we will complete the whole required task and we will deliver the complete product to the customer so this is called uh, this is the concept of scrum framework uh, friend in the sprint uh, sprint uh, scrum framework we have a chart which is called as sprint burn down chart when whenever we start a product uh, whenever we start a project in by using the scrum framework scrum is the uh, methodology which we use to uh, manage these software projects so a sprint and a sprint is a three to four weeks time period so a sprint burn down chart means that it is a graphical way of showing how much work is uh, remaining in the sprint typically in terms of task hour it is typically updated at the daily scrum see friend what happened that uh, whenever we are implementing projects using the scrum framework or scr uh, scrum methodology uh, what we do like we have a product backlog product backlog is a document which contains all the documents all the requirement functional requirements of customer then uh, we make the sprint backlog by using the print product backlog sprint backlog is a document which is the sub document by using the product backlog like for example if there are 40 tasks in the product backlog so we take 10 tasks from the product backlog so it will become as sprint backlog we uh, it will be a three to four sprint is a three to four week time period we start development this uh, the scrum team will start development and in the three to four weeks time period we have to complete the those these 10 tasks now friend the, here comes the concept of a sprint burn down chart a sprint burn down chart basically tells you that how much work is remaining in the 
uh, in the sprint sprint what is basically sprint sprint is a three to four weeks time period in which we have to complete the task which we have, we, we actually have taken from the product backlog uh, take try to understand from again <coughs> like for example in the product backlog there are 40 tasks you have taken 10 tasks so it will become as sprint backlog and then the sprint backlog contain 10 tasks and the sprint burn down charge tells you that how the, uh, the sprint starts the three two week week uh, four weeks time period starts and now after four days of one week you are trying to understand that how much work is completed and how much work is remaining so basically sprint burn down chart it basically mm -hmm. tells you that how much work is remaining to complete the sprint for example if there are 10 tasks in the sprint and after one week you reviewed the sprint burn down chart so it tells you that uh, it tells you that uh, four tasks have been completed and six tasks are remaining so in that way basically it tells you the progress it tells you that either you need to expedite the things either you are going okay either you are uh, going late so a sprint burn down chart is very important when you are managing the uh, scrum based projects software projects this is very important basically it tells you that how much work is remaining in the sprint now the purpose of sprint burn down chart what is the purpose of sprint burn down chart sprint, sprint burn down chart helps teams gauge whether they will complete the work of a sprint or not like for example if there were 10 tasks in the sprint and you reviewed that uh, for example only four tasks have been completed and six tasks are remaining uh, so maybe uh, after so you have to take the decision whether you are going okay whether you are not going okay or whether you are going as per the plan so this is where this is very important document this is a very important chart um, so sprint bear down chart it's a graphical representation of a task uh, with within the sprint so that it gives you insight whether you are going uh, how much work is remaining in the sprint so that you can take the corrective actions accordingly so that you can take the action whether it also tells you basically it also uh, guide you either you need to take action or not this is very important it tells you that whether you need to take the action or not if you uh, if all things are going well so obviously you don't need to take any action here friend i just want to show you the uh, sprint burn down chart if you see uh, on this axis this is the days in the sprint for example uh, in the sprint there are 10 uh, working days and these are the story point the story point means the hours for the functional requirements for example 35 uh, hours are there so if you see this is this line the straight line this straight line shows you the planned work okay this show you the planned work like for example uh, it shows you that uh, within 10 days of the sprint 30 hours work should have to be completed 30 story points should have to be completed it tells you okay this is the straight lines this tells you like that now uh, this uh, light blue color line shows you that how you are progressing for example if you just see from here on the second day you were ahead of time on the third day you were lacking on the fourth day again uh, you are lacking five six uh, six, uh, six till six days you were lacking and you were below the average uh, below the required uh with the required speech uh, required speed and then on seven eight and then nine you again uh, ahead of time and you expedite the things and you reach till 10 days you reach the uh, required story points so friend uh, the sprint burn down chart is a very important document basically uh, if you just see this is the graphical representation of the task of the work which is remaining in the sprint sprint is the three to four weeks time period so uh, whenever we are implementing projects obviously we have to uh, see we have to discuss that how much work is remaining normally we use uh, the uh, sprint burn down charts in the daily scrum meeting daily scrum meetings is the meeting uh, conducted by the scrum team 
product owner and the scrum master in which we discuss that how much work is completed how much work is remaining so sprint pattern chart is a very important document for the daily scrum meeting so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you